Hi, it's Tom here and welcome to another Gradle best practice tip. And this time I'd like to recommend you to optimize your repositories in your build script. And correctly ordering your repositories and not adding unnecessary repositories is going to make your build more efficient and potentially for larger projects, it could have noticeable performance improvement. And in this video, I'm gonna get into why that's important and show you how it works under the cover. So let's get right into it. And right here, we've got a simple Java project. It's got the Java plugin applied and it's got a single dependency on an artifact called artifact to publish. Now I've published this artifact to my own private repository running locally. And we can see this private Maven repository declared in the repositories section. It's got our name, Tom Repo, and here's the URL. And if we build our project using dot slash gradle w build dash dash refresh de dependencies. And this means that Gradle is going to make a network call to the repository to make sure it's got the most up to date version. And then I'm going to run with dash dash info to get the logging output. And right here under compile Java, we can see downloading it's going to localhost 8081, which is my repository, and it's downloading Artifact to publish. So that's exactly what we expect to see. Now, imagine that over time, our project gets bigger and bigger, as these things tend to happen, and we add a dependency on commons lang. Now, this is hosted in Maven Central. We add Maven Central to the list of repositories here, and this means that Gradle is going to go off and get it from there. And now, if we run the same command, the first thing we see here is a resource missing. So that's interesting. We've got a request to localhost 8081. That's my private repository. And it's looking for the commons lang artifact on that repository. So it's going there first. And then later on, it's actually going off to Maven Central and finding commons lang there. So it's making a, an unnecessary request to my private repository for commons lang. And you can imagine that as the project grows even more and we have more and more dependencies, then when we run again, we've got many, many different network requests. In fact, if I grep for missing, we can see all those requests here and I'm going to count them. And we've actually got 37 unnecessary network requests going on here. Now there's actually quite a simple way to almost completely remove this problem. And can you take a guess at what it is? Well, actually, when Gradle is resolving dependencies, each dependency, it goes and makes request to the repositories in the order in which they're declared in the repositories block here. Now, because we've got the private repository declared first, for all these dependencies, it's making a request there first. So what we need to do is move the Maven Central declaration to the start and it's going to make all these requests to Maven Central. So if we run the same build again, this time we've only got two unnecessary network requests, and that's for the artifact to publish because it's looking for that in Maven Central first before it goes to my private repository. And that's a lot better scenario than what we had before where we had 37 unnecessary network requests. And this might not have a very big impact on small projects like this, but you can imagine larger projects that have a lot of dependencies, this really can add up. And by fixing these kinds of problems, you might see a large performance improvement. And in order for you to determine how much of a problem this is for you in your own project, then you can run dash dash refresh dependencies with the info and look through the logs. Or one other option is to run with a dash dash scan, and that's going to run a build scan, which you can access within your browser and if you go to the performance tab and then network activity, you can actually see all the different requests are going on, how long they take and the total time spent on downloads. And this should give you some indication as to how much of a problem this might be. And then you can take positive steps to improving things. And if you'd like to learn more about the fundamentals of Gradle, like plugins and repositories and dependencies, then why not check out my introductory Gradle course? It's free. It's called Get Going with Gradle, and you can find the link right here. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in another Gradle best practice tip.